Hey guys, so with Inko Coroutines, we actually have some listeners such as when we have a button and we do a click. Oops. We have a click and we don't have to create async task of the UI. We can act. This actually is part of the coroutines is the click listener and we can actually use the background and we can use the await and things like that. Yes, we can use await as well. So we have things built into Anko for coroutines that we could use with the listeners and there are different listeners we can use it with like um, click listeners, long click listeners. We have stuff with the recycler view and I'm going to show you where you can actually find them. So in the Anko repo on GitHub, you can go to Anko library and then generated. And just look for co co coroutines, and we can see things like if we go into design coroutine source and look at this stuff. We we can see we that we have on offset changed. We um on tap selected. On child view removed, we have a lot of things we have built in. We don't have to do our listeners. Our um, we don't have to put in a separate async. Yeah, um, on click is in here. On context click. If on long click. On scroll change for views. So you have so many things. One way to see if it has an async within it, the coroutines, is just to put BG within the um, the function and just see if it has it in it. And if it doesn't, just put the async in there. And this is coroutines for Kotlin.